This is the Northern Range country of Wyoming. The year is 1877. What you are about to see actually happened. The only difference will be that when the Indians speak, they will speak in our language so that you can understand them. Josh Tent. I'm taking a shortcut to Fort Laramie. I shouldn't be here. This is Cheyenne country. Ooh. Ooh, boy. Easy, boy. we are here, and he wants us to know this. It's a good game, but if he crosses our river, shoot. We will see if his guards are with him. Good game. Perhaps next time you will not win. Look 
what's coming. Body. That's 20 Mile Creek. That's in Cheyenne country. I know that. What were you doing there? I was on my way here. Take him to headquarters. Oh, I, uh, I found these with him. Anybody who's getting impatient, take a good look. He couldn't wait. Peace Commission was too slow for him. So he crossed over into Indian territory and got what he deserves. Now I'm warning you. From now on, any man who crosses over and gets back will wish he had. The gold you're after will still be there when the treaty is signed. But until then, the agreement is we stay on our side of the river and they stay on theirs. So far, they've stayed on theirs. But how long they will, if violations like this go on, I can't promise you. Any of your friends of his? His name is Judge Smith. Take him and bury him. Oh. Here's what he died for. Anybody claiming it? Explaining yourself. Whatever you need to know, sir, is in here. There's uh, not much to explain. For your information, we're trying to get a new treaty signed with the Indians. The Sioux, the Crow, and the Blackfeet are discussing it with us, but Chief Brokenhand and the Cheyennes are holding out. I have no idea what they're going to do. We're sitting on a powder keg here. And people like you and that prospector seem to be doing your best to blow the lid off. Save the speeches, Colonel. I'm not a private in your army. No, but you're at Fort Laramie, and I'm in charge here. Josh Tanner, huh? Why did you come here, Mr. Tanner? It says there. Answer the question. I have a contract with some businessmen from St. Louis. You mean gamblers? Because I dress like this? Just happen to prefer it to buckskin. You uh, can't judge a man by his clothes, can you? You should have had more sense than to come alone through Cheyenne country at a time like this. I traveled at night until the last day out. I certainly didn't want to go north and east down the Missouri just to make a big safe swing through Pawnee country. You seem to know the territory. One of the reasons I got the contract. My father was with a trading outfit. Until I went east to school, I walked every foot of this country with him. You're authorized here to stake out Black Hills country. That's right. Another gold syndicate? Real estate. The gentleman who hired me figured that where there's gold, there'll be a city sooner or later. And you intend to bypass gold for real estate? I'm not a prospector, Colonel. I'm a surveyor, hired to lay out a town site. Oh, a town builder. Just a public-spirited citizen, is that it? Not at all. I'm being paid for it. Well, commissioners are waiting for you at the council tree, sir. Any sign of broken hand or any of the Cheyennes? Not yet, sir. The government's new gifts on display? They are, sir. All right, I'll be right down. Hope you enjoy your stay in Laramie. Maybe a long one. The broken hand should have more consideration for the gentleman from St. Louis. Yes, and for the prospectors and thieves and gamblers that are just waiting to crawl all over his territory the minute the treaty is signed. Do you blame him for staying away? Well, I never thought much about it, Colonel. To me, Indians are Indians. I have no feeling about them.
I envy you that, Mr. Tanner. Good day, Mr. Tanner. Detail ready, Sergeant? Yes, sir. Well, the Colonel will be out in a minute. Oh, Mr. Tanner. Yes. Uh, you know that all civilians are restricted to this side of the river till the council is finished. I believe the colonel mentioned that fact. never see another engine around here, it'll be soon enough for me. Run them off the land is what I say. Like we should have run Red Cloud off eight years ago, when he sat right in this room signing that half-baked, misbegotten treaty. The one that's keeping you prospectors tied down here, instead of out there where there's enough gold laying right out on the ground to pay for the whole Civil War. I beg your pardon. I'm looking for a room. See the daughter at the back. If I was you, I'd just buy repeaters and enough ammunition. doing here? I'm sorry. I... Get out. Get out of here. Your father sent me. He sent you? Yes, it was about a room. He said to see the daughter at the back. This is a store, not a hotel. We have no rooms. Well, anything with a roof over my head would do. Even a nice empty shell someplace. You a faro dealer? You and the colonel. I'm a surveyor. I'll even call myself a topographical engineer if it'll uh, get me any closer to your uh, bathtub. But uh, since there's no room, I'll run along. And I apologize for breaking in on you like this. There is the storeroom. That's where the tub is. This is the best bunk in the world. They shift when you turn over. Say, this is a beauty. Did my father say anything to you about me when you talked to him? No. No, he didn't, only that I was to ask you about the room. Many days. Cheyennes have not come to sit with us. I ask now that our friends, the Sioux, the Arapahoes, and the Blackfeet sign the treaty without him. Indian! Charges would you file? Charges? Well, the, the, the brazenness of this whole, the, the indignity of it. Is your lost dignity worth the war? 
<clears throat> well, I guess you're... I guess you're right. We've lost so much face around here now, I guess just a little bit more will kill us. Blackfeet. You're not a Cheyenne in sight. You come here often? Whenever I can. I feel sorry for them. Why? Because your father hates them? It hasn't anything to do with him. It's the way they're pushed around. They haven't got a chance, really. I think they know it. It must be like being all alone. I guess you'd know about that. Please behave naturally, Ann. I don't feel too sorry for this outfit. The Cheyennes. she called. Her name is Anne. I am Little Dog. This one is my friend, American Horse. We are Cheyenne. I know this. You know then what this means? It means you have killed enemies. And I have killed white men, too. Squaw? No. She is my friend. We'll go back to the fort now. It'll be all right. A Cheyenne is a warrior. He's too proud to attack us with our backs to him.
It makes a young chief's hair shine like the wing of the raven. He is welcome to it. Two times, I have held your life here. Two times, you have won the game. I will remember both days with laughter. <laughs> He thought it was funny. I didn't. I'm still scared. You know something? So am I. You were a big hero this afternoon, the daughter tells me. Not at all. I was scared to death. Follow her up there. Did she tell you that? I'm telling you that. You're the first one she's liked. Since she was 13 years old, you're the first one. But she don't have nothing to do with men, see? I know, I know. How do you know? Did you try something? No, I didn't try anything. Well, before you do, let her know how it is with her. She ain't fit merchandise for marriage. Happened back a long time ago, and it wasn't pretty. I killed a man. You didn't have to tell me that. Oh, well, it's true. And there's lots more around here knows it, too. You make sure of that, don't you? I tell everybody it starts getting ideas. She don't have nothing to do with men. If she sees many more like you, I don't blame her. Man. A message just came from the gate. There's a Cheyenne warrior waiting to see you. Will you walk down to the gate with me, Ed? Thank you. I'd like to. something for you. This is a very rich present. It is a small thing. I have come really to welcome you to our village. Little dog says welcome, but uh, would Chief Brokenhand say the same? Is not my invitation good enough? I didn't mean that. Chief Brokenhand is my father. What I wish, he will wish. Do not come if you do not want, or if you are afraid. Look at this. Looks like you found a friend. Or should I say two? You can say three if you want. Thank you. You call him a friend. Maybe so. 
But I'd hate to have an enemy that dangerous. waiting for you. I will take you to them. I will walk with you. They are on the battleground. They want you to see them. Battleground? It is only practice. They say the white soldiers practice. It is so? I'm afraid it is. Then that is why they must practice, little dog says. There, you will see them. Now is the signal to attack.
compels the braves to retreat. Little dog? I see Tanner was not afraid. I'm here. Our practice does not please you? I was hoping to see someone practicing the signing of a peace treaty. Peace treaty? We are Cheyennes. The treaty pen does not fit our hand as well as the arrow. I've uh, brought you something that I'm sure you'll find will fit your hand even better than the arrow. For my friend Little Dog, and for my friend, American Hawks. Ah, it has the sting of the arrow. How is it called? A bowie knife. It is for hunting. It could be for many things. Appearing day will take the horses. I have things to show my friend. Your sister has much beauty. It is for that reason she is very expensive. When a brave takes a bride, he gives four, sometimes six ponies. But for appearing day, my father asks, 200. Well, even at that price, I'm sure there are many offers. Come. Now you will see the things I have to show you. Did I scare you? <laughs> I just came down to wash up for dinner. There will be a war dance in your office. Oh? These berries are for the feast. Here, smell. It is like the fork. They call it pine tree soap. You may have it. Keep it, it's yours. May I kiss you, thank you? What was that? May I kiss you, thank you? I'm not sure I understand. When I was little, there were sometimes white boys in the camp, and they would have a birthday, and we would make presents. They told me I must always kiss for each present. Did they tell you that was the custom of the white man? Yes. Is it not true? Well, yes, it is true. Many people kiss when they receive presents. Then please. I will like it. <laughs> Indian boys do not kiss Indian girls. I do not know why not. It is very nice in feeling. I would like it again, please, but longer. Thank you. It's a feast I won't forget. But I'd hope to meet Broken Hand. 
My father returns tomorrow. May I come back? Do you come as a friend, or do you come to speak the cause of the white soldier? I come in friendship. Then you are welcome. I will be here. But now I must say good night. We will ride with you to the river. I can find my way. No, you must let them. To ride alone is dangerous. We must protect you from the Cheyenne. <laughs> <laughs> Say good night now. And thank you. And to you for these. How are they called? Bowie knives. We have given you nothing. You've given me your friendship. That is not enough. Tanner will hear from us. Horses, little dog, and the fine ones in the Crow Village. Come, Tanner will have his present. Ah! Here's why I sent for you, Mr. Tanner. It's yours. The young Cheyenne brought him in. They said you'd know what it was about. Are they still here? No, they didn't stay with hardly a second. Almost seemed like they was in a hurry. Boy, he sure is a beauty, isn't he? He sure is. We gave you, it is theirs. Thanks. You almost got me killed. You do not understand. It was American horse and me they wish to kill. We stole the pony. Uh-huh. Well, what are we supposed to do now? Wait here while they kill you, or do we fight? Fight? <laughs> fight crows? It is beneath Cheyennes to fight crows. And I will send them a challenge. We'll see if their horses match ours.
ride a fine new horse. Thanks to your brother, an American horse. We played a game with them. It was good sport. Did you win the game? Who could lose to crows? I almost did. <laughs> <laughs> happy and excited tonight. Why aren't you? Tonight, my father will tell his decision. If it is war, I will be sad. If it is peace, we must move, and I will not like that. Well, if you, if you do move, you'll still be with your father and your brother and your friends. The lady who came to the fort gate with you, she is your woman? No, I have no woman. She's very beautiful. To marry her will cost many horses. As many as 200, do you think? My father asks to see you. Come with me. son has told me of you. He has said you come as a friend. Is this true? That is true. Then you are welcome here. You will come to the council and sit with us. It is my wish. Son, little dog, will tell those who need to be told. It is the time of deciding. <laughs> I have listened to all that has been said. I have thought long thoughts. In the time of our fathers, there were two great herds of buffalo across this land. Then, when we were young warriors, there became only one herd of buffalo. And now our sons for many moons have hunted for the buffalo which is no longer as it was in this land. It is gone. Our neighbors, the Sioux, the Blackfeet, and the Arapaho know this. 
I have called this council to tell you that on this day, they have agreed to take the offer of the white man and leave this country. No! No! So if we stay in this our land, we will have to fight the white man alone. And without meat in our bellies to give us the strength to fight. Our young men are brave. We will fight. Our young men are brave. But if we stay in these hills, they will be killed. They will all die. This I know. So the decision is made. We will sign this treaty with the white. We will leave this land for the new land in the south. We will take our horses and our lodges and our weapons. But we will never again use these weapons to kill our Indian enemies or the white man. That is over. The killing is ended. Ha! Tana, you will wait for me in my lodge. I will speak with you there. It is best that he goes. Things must now be said that cannot be said before him. I wish that you tell the leader of the white soldiers what you have heard here. I will. If he brings the paper saying the things I have said, tell him I will put my mark on it. Is that all? Sit down, my friend. dog was angry. His blood ran hot at the council. Does this mean that he will refuse to go with you when you move away? I do not know this. In the days of my youth, I would have stayed. His blood is my blood. If little dog asks all the young warriors not to go with you, but to stay and fight, will they do this? I am chief of all the Cheyenne. My son would have to kill me to prevent me from leading my people south. He will not kill me. But tonight he will decide what he will do. For he's gone to the lodge of the medicine man alone. You are his friend. Would you go to him there? His deciding may mean his whole life. I will go to him. Where's the lodge of the medicine man? Josh. Little dog is my brother, and I love him. I pray he will listen to you. Goodbye to my friend. You 
should not have heard those words spoken this night. That was not Cheyenne talk. It was the talk of women. Little Dog doesn't have to prove his courage. It is known by the white man and by the Cheyenne. It is known of Little Bighorn and amongst the Sioux and the Crow that there is no warrior who has more bravery than Little Dog. Now show that he is also wise, as wise as the old warriors. My father has spoken of me to you. He doesn't want his son to die. He would die here if he were not old. I know this. The chief of all the Cheyennes must think for all his people. Little Dog knows that it is not fear that speaks within his father, but wisdom. Then I do not like would Tanner go south with the women and the old ones? I don't know, little dog. Yes, I think I would go south if I were you. Sometimes there is a change. We don't see the reason for it, but it's there. These things are easy for Tanner to say, because he is a white man. Then let the white man go south. We are not farmers, we are Cheyennes, and hunters, and fighters. Go into the hills by myself. The spirits will tell me what to do. They will not lie to me. to speak with the spirits. Josh, would you tell me something to help me understand? I'll try. My father has said that if we stay here, we will die. The lady at the fort, she can live in our land and she will not have to die. No. And you will not have to die. I have thought of it, and I cannot understand why there must be this difference. I don't think even the spirits have an answer to that. Maybe if, if we could live in the white man's world, there would be no more talk of dying. Many white people have come here. Behind them, they must have left a great empty space. So if, if they no longer want this place, maybe the Cheyennes could go there and live. You will tell me if this can be done. Would you be happy in a white man's world? I would try. Yes, I would be happy. I'd give a great deal if I could help a parent day.
believe that it's all over. Did he say how soon he'd be ready to sign? I imagine the sooner the better, sir. Yeah, I suppose so. Some of the other tribes have already started to move out. Well, I'll be glad to see the end of it. I'm sure it's been worse for a broken hand. I know it has. I feel sorry for him. You told me once you had no feeling about the Indians. You've changed. Sometimes you learn things in spite of yourself, sir. Good night, Mr. Tanner. Oh, Mr. Tanner. Thanks. Maybe it was only your vest I didn't like. Good night, sir. She's the promise to me. I tell you. Sandry! Guard! Let him down there! Guardhouse. You hurt? No, I don't think so. Who was it? One of the Cheyennes. I can't understand it. I don't know why. There's a Pawnee scout dead, sir. That Cheyenne knifed him. And it looked for a good three minutes as though something might be settled. We'll have to hold the Indian. Nothing else we can do. Yes, sir. Josh, that Indian girl is here. Here? She's waiting for you. A peering day is here? She said you told her she should come. I told her, but I didn't say anything about... So that's why American Horse tried to... Where is she? She's in your room. You shouldn't have come here. You wished to help, you said. I think you meant it. But you didn't tell me you were promised to American Horse. There's been much trouble. I did not tell you of American Horse because what was in his heart was not in mine. The word of my father was given, but not my word. But American Horse thinks I stole you. He came here, he tried to kill me, and now they've locked him in a stockade. American Horse was wrong to do this. I have chosen. Stay here. This is where I will make my life. Bundle her up and I'll take her back to her people. I have no people. When I left our village, I told my father. Now I am dead to all of them. Appearing day, you don't just move in like this. Things aren't done that way. Josh, she's left her people. You can't turn her out. Get that squaw out of here. I'll decide that. You can stay here, at least for now. I'll find a place to sleep outside. Go to sleep up here day. We'll talk about it in the morning. We'll work this out somehow.
I scare you? You told me to sleep. But I could not sleep. I have done wrong. I have made much trouble for you. It wasn't your fault. I should have explained. I should have made you understand. No, I do understand. There is no love in your heart for me. You're wrong, Agrande. There is much love in my heart. Josh is going away. Only for a little while. I'm going to see your father. Is there anything you want me to say to him? All has been said.
know who the second killer was, the one who made the rescue? It was your friend, Little Dog. One of the Pawnee scouts recognized him. Do you expect Broken Hand to turn his son and American horse over to you, Colonel? Well, we can't very well ignore two killings. Certainly we expect it. Then we may be making this trip for nothing. Well, let's make it and find out. With your permission, Mr. Tanner. Started. The first of the tribes are moving south. Those are the Crow and the Blackfeet. These are part of the Sioux, the Arapaho tribes. That means the others are probably moving out too, except for the Cheyennes. Heading for the promised land. I wonder how long they'll be able to live on promises. You seem to have become quite attached to the Indians, Mr. Tanner, in one way or another. If this happened to you, would you like it? Colonel, if he's to do any of the talking with Broken Hand, it might be wise to keep his attitude in mind. I will, sir. As well as the fact that he's entitled to his own opinion. Talk to him first, sir, if I may. If he'll listen to you. Chief Broken Hand, I would like to speak to you first of your daughter, of appearing dead. I have no daughter. She has chosen. Little dog put his trust in me, and because of that, so did you. We will speak of her no more.
I will sign this treaty because my word has been given. You will wait before the council table. Face about. Yes, sir. Who's in forward? Who's in forward? Wheel it out in the line. Who? One's in three. One length forward. Who? Maybe we should ask him to come to the fort. No, it's got to be now. You're right, Colonel. We'll bind all those warriors to Broken Hand's word. If they can be held off till the signing. That's the chance we'll have to take. Colonel will give me the papers. Two soldiers were killed at our fort. One by American horse and one by your son, little dog. Are they here? We will talk of them when the paper is signed. promises you asked for, Broken Hand, are written there. I will read them with you if you want. The treaty is now signed. My people are bound by it. 
In the name of the government of the United States. White Feather, it is a challenge. My son and American horse are not bound by your paper. They have chosen to fight, and they wait for you in the hills. Just the two of them? This is their challenge. They expect you to honor it. You mean American horse and little dog want to meet the troops in battle? Two men? Yes. This is true. They are waiting. This is insanity. Well, if you ask me, the whole thing's a trick. Broken Hand signed the treaty. He gave us his word. I'm inclined to trust Broken Hand, but not these young Cheyenne warriors. I can't take a chance on treachery. I'm sending to the fort for the full compliment. Good. Shall I tell that to Broken Hand? It's only fair he knows it. If he's being honest with us, he won't take offense. If he isn't, it'll be a fair warning. Mr. Ferguson. Yes, sir. Send the dispatch rider to the fort. Call out the full couple. Yes, sir. Broken hand. The colonel sending for the full complement of cavalry. It is well. I will come out to see my son die. The family of American horse will want to see also that he dies well. All of my people will have a right to be there. To see this and remember it. Perhaps the white man will have something to remember, too. American horses with him. And Josh? He's going out there. There may be much killing. I must go to them. If you can help, Anne. You keep out of this. Ain't no daughter of mine helping any squaw, you hear? Come on, Akarin Day. I'm going with you. a place for an ambush, they could do worse. They'll be waiting there. Broken Hand said they call it the Valley of the Dead.
I keep the wash between us. Just in case. Tells you how to draw up a battle line for a war like this. Thinking of his father, broken head. And the warriors. He mustn't fire that gun.
Henry call. What else could I do, sir? If I fired them. I know. That's what they wanted you to do. Well, maybe they'll stop playing in a minute. I hope so. If this keeps up, it may have the whole tribe joining them. It won't be a game anymore. All right. I don't want to use guns. We can't fire first, and we'll have a war on our hands. I'm going out there and talk to the little dog, Colonel. I doubt if American horse will let you get within talking distance. I think it's worth the chance. They still want us to make the first move. Tanner comes to speak for the white soldier. I'm here to speak for myself. I am here to fight, not to talk. Get your rifle, Tanner. I will fight, little dog, if that's what he wishes, with a rifle or with a lance. But I will talk first. This is a time for dying. Get your rifle, Tanner. When I have talked. Little dog and American horse are still my friends. I've done nothing to change that. Words have too many shadows. I want no more words. As your friend, little dog, I'm here to ask you not to die. I will not go with the soldiers. I will die here. But I will not die alone. Is it your wish that many others die too? Is it your wish that you dishonor your father? You dare say this. Broken Hand has given his word that there'll be no more fighting by his people. Yet it is your wish that the Cheyenne warriors break your father's word. It is better that Cheyennes die like Cheyennes. The soldiers will not fire first. But I will go and get my rifle. And I'll come back to fight you. But there'll be no glory in it for you, little dog. Because I'll be one against two. Well, Mr. Tanner, I think the only solution is for me to goad them into firing first. And hope that their first shots miss. You American horse! Last night you wanted to kill me. What are you afraid of now? Or do you only kill at night? Stop. This is what the white ones want. Tanner, we are two against one. Send your soldiers to help you, and we will shoot. I need no help. Does American horse think I fear him? He is not a warrior. He's a woman, and afraid. What do I need with a rifle? I throw it away. I do not need it. A 
American horse has shamed us before the white man. Little dog will not do so. Pick up your gun, Tanner. You will pick up your gun or I will throw mine away also and we will fight before them all to the death. The scout to the winner. You ask for death for yourself, and that is your right. But to pronounce it on others is wrong. He has always spoken with one heart and one tongue. And he has been faithful to your friendship. Can you not be as faithful to him?
Well, Mr. Tanner, it's all over. I think we've seen the last of the Indian Wars. They'll be wanting to bury their dead before they go. What about her? She won't be going with them. No, she won't be. She's going with me. Appearing day will be my wife. As I told you in the beginning, this is a true story. We were married in the Methodist Church in Council Bluffs. Brokenhand lived to see his grandson enter the military academy at West Point. Yeah.